Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adara and on this channel I talk about self-care, health, and lifestyle tips every single Sunday. And today I'm super excited to talk to you guys about the crazy makeup haul that I did and I did film a separate video for my makeup haul. So if you guys want to check it out, I will link it above. But for this video, I'm going to go in depth and do a clean beauty tutorial focusing on all the new products that I have just gotten in. And I am switching to clean beauty just because I want to be more aware of the ingredients that I'm putting in my body. And I have been dealing with an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. So if I can do anything to help with my symptoms, my flare-ups, um, just by knowing what I'm putting on my body, then that makes me really happy. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Um, my best friend got me this little sample from Jane Ardell, and um, I hope I said that right, but it's just a primer. So I usually never really wear primers, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna give it a try. And let's see. And I don't feel like my pores are really crazy big or anything. But I used to, like, um, I remember I bought a Benefit little starter kit and it had, like, their pore primer on it. And I really liked that. I just felt like it really buffed out the little circles. More circles, pores. And made me feel like very flawless. I even felt with that primer, like you could put it on and it almost felt like you didn't need to put any foundation or anything on if you were just going to the store or something. It was a good little buffer. A little bit on my forehead. Watch it. Okay. Now well, that's all smoothed out. I decided to purchase the RMS Uncover Up Concealer, and a lot of people say that you can just use this as a uh, foundation so that's what I'm gonna do um, for me what I look for in a foundation is I really just want to focus on making my skin um, more flawless and I want it to look like skin so I don't want it to look cakey or anything like that um, I'm not against that like if I'm going to a wedding or a really nice event then I'll want to be more like full full-on coverage but for like an everyday look i really like something as simple as this and i usually just target on spots where i get really red and you know in the center of my face and i think like in between my brows is where i have a lot of trouble with redness and i do have some texture to my skin too um that i've been kind of working on getting smoothed out just by um skin care and stuff like that so what they recommend with RMS is to use a oil, um, a face oil. Um, I ran out of the face oil that I usually use, um, so I just used olive oil and I've been using that for the past three weeks and I haven't had any issues. Um, I definitely want to switch to a more like nicer face oil, so I will be ordering something this week for that. But for today, I just used a olive oil and I just kind of um, pressed it into my skin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use my finger for this. You can use a brush and put like a little bit of oil just to make it more like a foundation. But I really just like using my finger and um, going in on the spots where it's more red for me. I just kind of like tap it into the skin. Mm -hmm. 
So for my everyday kind of makeup, um, I'm usually, I'm just going to target the kind of spots where I feel like I have little flaws. Um, I don't think I'm going to go ahead and do my full face. But you could with something like this. I just feel like I get a lot of darkness around my mouth. I just kind of want to buff that out. Right under. And I like to go right in that corner of my eye because I get, like, I just have, like, a dark spot right there. And I like how this kind of brightens it up. So I don't know if you guys can see a major difference from one side to the other. We have some red spots here, so I'll try to blend that out. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see a major difference from one side to the other, um, but it does cover my redness pretty well. And I like that it looks more just like skin um, rather than just like a heavier foundation. Um, the way that I found out about RMS was through researching online, but I also got to, I stopped by a clean beauty store when I was in South Carolina. And the name of that store is Aaliyah, and it's so cute. Like, I got to, like, there was, like, a strip, kind of like a plaza down there, and they had the cutest store, and I got to try some samples. And I, the shade that they matched me with was 22.5, um, and the shades that I took home because they were totally out of it was the 22 and the 33. And I felt like this one for me was just like the perfect shade because sometimes um, in the summer I'll get a little tanner and then throughout the winter I'm pretty pale but it's something I can warm up with like a contour or a bronzer so I didn't see that as an issue. Now if you're wanting a full coverage foundation um, uh, I wouldn't recommend this. I think it covers redness well, but I don't think it'll cover, like, I have, I don't know what this is called, probably like, a, I don't know, like a pimple that's been there forever and like, kind of like a dry skin type of thing. Um, and it'll like cover it, but it doesn't cover it as well. So like, if you have... A like pretty big pimple or something I don't think this is gonna do the trick for what you're wanting you're gonna want something um, like with more coverage but I really love their message like RMS basically they just focus on your beauty just enhancing your beauty but also just enhancing healthy skin um, and that's exactly what I go for. I need just a little more there. Okay, so another thing I noticed when I was using this just with the sample foundation was that I do get, I tend to get pretty oily, just like in the T zone, kind of right over here too. Um, so I decided to go ahead and buy their, I wanna see. I think it's called their let's see tinted unpowder um and this one is tinted and i think it's the two to three range um and it's supposed to be like super fine um and just to go in those spots that you're gonna have where you know that you're gonna get oily i'm gonna gently kind of just brush this over Next thing I usually do is contour and I used to use the NYX um, contour palette and I was having a hard time finding a matte um, contour color like pressed powder in the clean beauty world 
Um, and then I came across the Lily Lolo, um, I think this is called their Sculpt and Glow Contour Duo. And I really liked how soft um, this color came off. And I usually like a contour that's like has kind of a gray undertone. This one I feel like has more of a red. But I still think it's really pretty on the skin. Almost kind of like a sun-kissed glow. I just feel like when you put on your nose and on your eyelids like this, it's like very natural. And then, oh my gosh, I forgot my chin. I like to go along the jawline too. I was looking for a clean beauty blush, but I couldn't find one. Like all of them are cream, and I don't know if I want to use a cream one. I never really use blushes anyways, but um, I was thinking about getting one. So if you guys have any recommendations, please comment them below. I'd love to see what works for you guys. But. For me, like my everyday, I tend to just grab that contour color and then I would kind of put it where I would put blush. So the next step, I'm going to focus on the glow, just like a highlight. Um, RMS has a super awesome highlighter. Um, I ended up getting their eye polish in the color Lunar. Um, I saw another beauty blogger um, say that this formula was lighter and easier to kind of blend in the skin um, rather than their actual highlighter. And I think it's just really pretty and just really light. Um, so I'm just gonna use my finger for this. Super lightly. And then just kind of focus it where I need it. And for me, I feel like powder highlighters kind of sit on top of the skin and kind of give you that cakey look. So trying this highlight is really pretty just to see like how it kind of sinks in into the skin, it gives you that glow without being too crazy. I like to go all the way up here too. You guys can kind of see how it does that natural. And then of course, I have to go on the tip of my nose. And then the bridge of my nose.
I usually always put a powder like highlight in the inner corner of my eye. Um, so I'm gonna give this a try. Let's see how I like it. Oh, it's so pretty. I always feel like it gives you the perfect pop. Um, just making you look even more like fresh and put together. So for mascara, I've been loving the Honest Beauty Extra Length, I believe, mascara. And it's so pretty. It has a primer. For like an everyday, I like it to look extremely natural. For me, I usually don't like to put mascara on my bottom lashes um, just because I feel like I'm not super careful and I get kind of messy. And sometimes I don't like it to look like spider legs, like. pretty buildable um I'm just really picky with my lashes like I don't like it to get clumpy um so it can get clumpy if you do a lot of coats So this is my quick everyday makeup look. Um, this is the finished look. I don't have a clean beauty lip liner or like lipstick for this video, but usually I would just use a nude color or a color similar to my natural lip color. Um, but for now I'm just using like a chopstick. Um, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. If you have any beauty, natural beauty um, recommendations, comment them below. And if you like to see more of my videos, I post new ones every single Sunday. So be sure to subscribe. Bye guys. I hope you guys have a good one.